As you can see, I'm using Journey Map. In my opinion, one of the best minimaps for Minecraft, and I'm using it in Minecraft 1.21.1, and that is exactly what I'm gonna teach you how to install in this video. If this tutorial works, all I ask is that you subscribe, we're really trying to grow the community, and you are a big part of it. Now, let's go ahead and begin with this tutorial. Now, the first step to install Journey Map is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Journey Map from Minecraft. In here, feel free to read through the guide, but if you just wanna get it straight to the point, scroll down to step one and click Journey Map right here. That is going to redirect you to the journey map website where we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the 1.21.1 version of journey map if you don't see it in here just click on filter by and change all game versions to 1.21.1 as you can see you have multiple versions in here and you could also switch around the mod loader to fit specifically the needs that you're looking for in this video we're going to download the forge version however if you have something else like fabric or neoforge download the proper version for your mod loader if you don't have any idea what a mod loader is don't worry because we're going to download a mod loader later on on this video as of now, we're gonna go ahead and select Forge and we're going to download the most recent version of Journey Map for Forge 1.21.1. To do so, hover over the top one and then click on these three dots and click download file. And within five seconds, the download will begin for Journey Map. And while Journey Map is downloading, here's a message from Apex Hosting. If you need a Minecraft server, click on the first link in the description and get 25% off either Java or Bedrock server, a server that supports over 200 mod packs and that has locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging. They offer private and secure connections so you could host a server online and your friends could join at any moment and something that i personally love about apex hosting is that you could create and then access a server console through your phone meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to kick people out of the server change the settings change the weather whatever you want to do it is your server after all i'm gonna leave that first link in the description for 25 percent off and now let's keep going with the tutorial now once your map downloaded let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop which you'll find it here on our recent download history if you downloaded journey map forge and for whatever reason you already have forge 1.21.1 installing your computer all you have to do is go ahead and drag and drop this file into your mods folder and you're done however i'm assuming most of you don't have forge installed so our next step is to go ahead and download and install forge to do so click on the third link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install forge scroll down to step one however if you don't want to read through the whole thing and click download forge here that is going to redirect you over here where we have to select the proper version of forge which in this case is 1.21.1 which should be right here on the top left once you select 1.21.1 click on the installer button right here and that will redirect over here where all you have to do is wait five seconds make sure you don't click anything until you see this skip button right on the top right right here go ahead and click skip once you see it and that'll begin the download of forge immediately and just like we did before with journey map we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop this file that we just downloaded into our desktop again you can find it here on your recent download history or within your downloads folder within your file explorer let's go ahead and wait for this to finish downloading and there we go we go go ahead and drag and drop it now we are ready to begin installing mods the first thing you want to do is make sure you close minecraft 1.21 1.1 as well as your minecraft launcher which as you can see down here it's completely closed already once that's done let's go ahead and right click on forge click on open with and then select java that is going to open the forge installer and if by any reason you don't have java don't worry because i'm going to show you how to fix that in a second once the forge installer is open select install client and hit ok and the installation will begin now if you didn't have java when you were trying to install forge that is because you need java 21 and i'm not referring to minecraft java i'm referring to a java software that will allow you to install mods the thing is that after minecraft got updated to minecraft 1.20.5 you now need java 21 when you're installing any mods creating a server adding shaders or doing anything related to modding minecraft i'm gonna leave this link in the description it's our guide on how to install java 21 you just download java 21 and then hit next a couple of times and then you will have java 21 which is a requirement like i said to play modded minecraft and to install forge and such anyways once forge has been installed go ahead and hit ok in here and now you could even get rid of the installer file as you don't need it anymore all we have left is to add journey map into minecraft to do so go ahead and open your minecraft launcher now with the minecraft launcher open if we install forge properly we should see it selected here automatically on the bottom left however if that's not the case for you always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected and that should bring forge out for you if that still doesn't do it click on new installation right here name this whatever you want like for example apex hosting since they'll give you 25 off your first server using the first link in the description and then in the latest release or the version area search for forge in there just type in forge and then select the most recent one or the top one which is forge 1.21.1 and then hit create here on the bottom right and that will add an instance of forge for you in here anyways we're still gonna need to add that mod and to add the mod in here which is the journey map we're gonna head over to installations and we're gonna find forge and we're gonna hover over it and we're gonna click on this folder right next to the play button that is going to open a folder that contains a lot of files and folders don't get confusing here and try to follow along as i add the mod what you're gonna do is minimize the launcher and you're gonna look for a folder in here called mods m-o-d-s and as you can see my mods folders right here however i'm gonna 
go ahead and delete mine because there's a chance that you don't have a mods folder. What you have to do now is click on new right here on the top left and then just name this folder mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, the mods folder could be created manually if you don't have it when you open this folder. Anyways, let's go ahead and open that newly created mods folder and it should be an empty folder now. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that journey map file that we downloaded in the first step to finally add the mod into Minecraft. All you have to do is drag and drop it into here and now. It's extremely important is that you double check that you don't have any other mod in here that is incompatible with journey map or with forge 1.21.1 all the mods that you have in this folder need to be for the same mod loader and for the same version of minecraft anyways once you are ready and you added the mods that you wanted including the journey map let's go ahead and close out from this folder head back into the minecraft launcher and now let's go ahead and double click on forge or just hit play in here and that is going to start opening forge you might get a little prompt sometimes saying are you ready to play mod in minecraft say yes and then hit play again and let's go ahead and wait for forge to open now once minecraft opens we know that we're in Forge because it literally says Forge everywhere, like on the top and on the bottom left in here. And we even have this mods option here, which will let us see which mods we're using, which in this case, we have the journey map in here, which is great. We already know it's there, but we're still going to go ahead and test it out by launching a single player or a multiplayer world. If you need a multiplayer server, remember, use that first link in the description and create your own server using Apex Hosting. Anyways, we're now in a world. We're actually in a cave. And as you can see by the top right, we have journey map working, but we're still going to go ahead and press J on our keyboard to open the journey map menu in here which as you can see, you have to give it a second, but then you'll be able to play around with so many different settings. You're gonna start changing the minimap size, the minimap position. You could have presets, waypoints. You could change the layers. I really love Journey Map. It's really incredible. And now you're able to use it in Minecraft 1.21.1. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye-bye.